What's going on guys? Coach Miguel here and today I just bought this 50 pound high contrast digital scale from Rapala or Rapala, however you say it. Uh, I have the touch screen one which is phenomenal scale. It works great. Um, but honestly I just wanted another scale just in case that one went down because it does it's been having a little issue of turning on I hold the button down and it don't turn it hasn't been it take a while a couple times to turn on so I wanted a backup and I decided to order this one off tackle warehouse it was $39.99 and this is the reverse uh, 50 pound high contrast digital scale reverse image this LCD display dark screen illuminates background um, for outdoor viewing directional pad operation eight storage locations for recording fish weight uh, shows minimum maximum and total weights uh, three weight display pound ounces decimals kilograms tear weight backup memory maintain stored data if battery power is lost up to 40 hours of battery life depending on usage includes a fish friendly gripper which that's the one I'll probably be using the most or actually that's the only one I'll be using I don't like to use the other one that it has so let's open it up and see what we got here I brought a pair of scissors but I noticed that it has a little thing right here in the back that you can just actually supposed to be easier just to open it. So we'll just pop this open real quick hopefully maybe I'll still Instructions. Here's the scale. That's the scale right there. So it has a red tab. Of uh, here's the little hook to put on the gills. I don't like to use that, so I won't even be using that. Here's the red tab, which I don't know why insert batteries here oh so I guess they don't have they don't have batteries so we gotta put batteries in it so let me uh, go get some batteries and I'll be right back alright guys got some batteries some little cheap batteries I had laying around so hopefully they work put the batteries in It up, take the screen off, turn it on. And there you go. See that? So now, how would I zero it out? Because it's at. Oh, there it goes. You just press the power button twice and it zeroes out. Cool. That was pretty easy to figure out. So we'll go here. Turn it off, you just hold it down, turn it back on. Alright, so here's the gripper right here. So I was gonna weigh some stuff, so let's do a reel and rago alpha trout. And let's see. Put that like that, then that weighs 61 right there. So, how do I lock it? Press there's a little lock button here. Oh, it says 63. So, we'll lock it. We'll hit oh, it's on the one. We'll hit the and there. We go. So, it's locked in, it's locked in down there. On the one, so we'll open this up. 
Now, we'll weigh the alpha trout. I'm gonna do this. Oh, just put it right here. Let's see what that weighs. Point thirty three. Right there. So we'll lock that one in. Let's move it over to number two. Hit the lock. And number two. There we go. So, if you guys can tell, or if you guys can see it right there, you got, where is it, on this side, one and two. So if I move it over, so 63 on one, 33 on two. So that's pretty cool. I haven't even read the instructions, so that was pretty easy to learn. So now let's see we get a fish bigger than that so and we want to replace it with the smallest one so let's try that so I'll just pull on this and see we'll pull on it for 286 so we'll go lock it Oh, whoops. Lock it. So blinking because I clicked the lock. It's 227. And I could move it to three. Or I could go to the two, which one's it says minimum at the bottom, which is the smallest. And I'll click on that one. And boom. They replaced it that easy. That is too cool. I like it. You can see it real. Look at that. You can even see it in the camera real easy so now if I click down to max it's on number two two point two seven if I go to minimum it goes to the number one so that's pretty cool so if I have like five fish I could go straight to the minimum one see what number was the minimum and go shoot over and I click all the way down and it's total it's 291. So this is actually pretty easy to um, control. I mean, I, I haven't even read the instructions. They're still right here. I haven't read the instructions, and I pretty much I already learned. I mean, I, the only thing I probably want to switch is I do pounds and ounces. Um, I don't really like doing the I think so. We'll go back. To clear it, I don't know how to clear it. Let me see. I wonder how to clear that one. So we just, I'm just gonna hold the power. Oh no, power. So I'll turn it off. So I'll turn it back on and hold it. I keep on holding it. Oh, it turned off again. Okay. Oh, there you go. So right when you turn it on and it starts flashing to turn on, press the power button again, and you can change the pounds to kilograms, decimals, whatever you want. So let me see if I can do it again on camera. So you, right there, you hold it down, it's flashing, press it again. Didn't work? Oh, it didn't work, let's do it again. Turn it off, turn it on. Oh shoot, that didn't work. Hold on, I'll get it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so it does work like that. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. So I go to ounces. That's what I like to use. So just leave it like that. And now you do it just like that. So, cool. And then it's got the degrees. I never even went by the degrees up top. Right there, or right there. Uh, I don't know. 89 degrees. It says that it's 89. Let's actually see what the weather is. And we can actually. Oh. Wow. <laughs> 89 degrees in Sisson. And look what that thing's marking. 89. You guys can see that. That's crazy. Okay.
<laughs> That's another cool thing. It actually worked. So, um, there we go. Now how to zero them out or clear, clear them out completely, I'm not sure. All right, guys, I read the instructions real quick because I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. And this is how you would do it. You would just go down, or actually it shows all the numbers, one, two, three, so you, from the beginning, press the up and down button at the same time. They're all flashing. Now you just hit the center button. Everything is cleared. So now you're set up and you're ready to start all over again. I mean, it is super simple, guys. This is how simple it is. Look, the fish is 213, whatever. Hit the lock. Go one, two, wherever you want to go. Hit the center button. Boom, locked in. Catch another fish. Hit the lock. Go to number two. Center button. Catch another fish. Lock. Go to number four or three. Center button. Let's catch another fish. 411. So now, let's say I want to replace the smallest fish. I go to one, see how it says minimum? And then just click right on it. Boom, it's been replaced. Now that's the max, 4.8. And now the 210 is the minimum. That is too cool. If I go down, hit the max, 411, scoot over. 210 is the minimum, go all the way down, 11, 15 total for three fish. Then I'll go back up to where all the numbers are showing, top and bottom. All of them are flashing, hit the center button, and everything is clear, ready to start over again. I was real quick, guys. Man, I learned that so fast. I love this scale. I think this might be my main scale now. I'm going to compare my other scale to this one on the weights and make sure that they're even. But this is a freaking bad scale right here. For 39 bucks, you can't beat that, guys. Awesome scale. I recommend it to all the fishermen. This is cool. All right, guys. I'm out. Keep fishing.